Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about Sonny Edwards, who defended his IBF uh, flyweight title um, unanimously. It was against uh, Felix Alvarado, who himself was until recently a world champ. He was the IBF light flyweight champ. He moved up a division. Good quality opponent for Edwards. Uh, Alvarado came in with 38 wins, two defeats, no draws. He had a lot, those two defeats were on points, they were back to back, and they were going, going back quite a long way actually, uh, 2013 and 2014. And the first one of those was against um, Kazu, Kazuta Ioka uh, in Japan. He challenged for the World Flyweight, WBA World Flyweight title. Um, lost a unanimous decision over there, and then he lost to Juan Carlos Raveco. The following year, another 12 round decision. So he had that setback over you know, quite a long period of time. You know, it was, you know, it was probably about six months of his career, which was definitely a dip. But then he went down a division to light flyweight, won the title, the IBF title, and defended it twice and gave it up to move back up to flyweight to fight Edwards. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I, I, I'm not entertained when I watch Sonny Edwards. He's one of those guys. I can respect what he does. He's kind of like a band that, you know, you go and see and you think, well, they're okay at what they do. It's just that what they do just doesn't interest me. It doesn't entertain me. Um, he, the constant, constant movement of Sonny Edwards. I mean, in this fight, he did what, what we expected. From the word go, he was constantly skirting around the ring, fleet-footed, Alvarado had no choice but to sort of charge after him, try and catch him, maraud after him. Um, and he just couldn't couldn't really lay a glove on him. And Ed was just moved, moved, constantly you know, pivoted, would pot shot. He did land the occasional punch, but it's just not very entertaining. I saw Edwards pre-COVID, so 2019 maybe. Um, I saw him live, I sat ringside, and I, I just thought, this kid's bouncing around everywhere, bit constant movement, and yes, he's slick, yes, he pot shots well, and he has, he's got some bottle, because as I'm going to talk about a little bit later, you know, towards the end of the fight, he was hanging on the ropes and taking a bit of a pound, I think it was around 10, yeah, it was around 10, he spent well, at least half that round, probably two minutes of it, on the ropes in the corner, riding punches from a very, very big puncher, because I'll um, Alvarado, of his 38 wins, uh, I think 30, 33 are by, by stoppage or knockout. And there was Edward, you know, slipping and sliding on the ropes and covering the covering up, taking punches on gloves. Um, but from the word go, going back to the beginning of the fight, from the word go, like I say, Alvarado was just charging after him and was, wasn't able to land anything. I think I might have given him one round just because Ed was didn't do anything. Um, so after six rounds, I think I hit 5-1 maybe. Um, but then in, well, in the sixth round, actually, there, he, Alvarado did land a couple of punches that I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. He's, maybe he's getting a little bit closer because Edwards uses so much movement. It's, I don't see how he can possibly keep it up for 36 minutes. Um, and sure enough, Edwards did slow down and was outworked. I would say around six, seven and eight. Maybe nine, he was outworked. I think I had it one, I had it one sixteen, one twelve, definitely. So yeah, I probably gave him those those four rounds, or three three rounds, three of the rounds, and three of the middle rounds. But in the championship rounds, Edwards kind of got on his bike again. Apart from that tenth round where he just hung on the ropes in the corner and let and kind of you know just showed his defensive skills and countered very very well. Apart from that, I mean, eleventh and twelfth, he was pretty much moving again. And uh, ended up outpointing Alvarado. Although the cards were quite, you know, they were curiously close. And there were a couple of 115, 113, maybe a 116, 112. I had it 116, 112. Um, but Nicaraguan fellow Alvarado, marauding puncher, you know, comes forward very, very heavy hands. And at no point did he have Edwards in any in any bother. But there again, neither did Edwards have him, him in any bother. And I like the smaller guys. I really enjoy watching, you know, Japanese fighters, a lot of them. And, um, of course, you've got Chocolatito. Bam Rodriguez is there. After the fight, Sonny Edwards said he wants Bam. Bam, I think, has gone down to light fly. Is that? Yeah. Uh, he's given up his WBC belt after defending it a couple of times. He's had a fantastic year, Bam. And Edwards is saying, I'll fight him. I'll fight him. You know, he says Martinez is running scared. 
don't know about that, but uh, but the the thing I the thing about Edwards is, you know, if he's what's he going to do if he meets a boxer who refuses to move after him to chase after him, who you know just I mean, in what way are you going to hold a fight between the two opponents? I mean, you, it's I mean a fight another fight between them. I mean. He kind of reminds me a little bit, not not entirely his style, Edwards, but a little bit of, of Michael Nunn from the fighter from the from the nineties, um, two weight world champ. Nunn was slipping and sliding, but he could put a bit of spite on his punches. He did it against Frank Tate. He knocked out Sambu Colombe in one round. He he when he when, he, when the mood took him, he had a bit of power and a bit of pop. Um, until he got flattened by James Tony, but that's another story. But with Edwards, there's no real power there. Um, good defensive skills, covers up well, but all that movement just drives me balmy. I'm, I'm sorry, but I know it. I know he's good at what he does, but it's not for me to be honest with you. It's just not for me. But but anyway, you know, well done to Sonny Edwards. He retained his title, um, and you know he deserved it. He deserved the win. No no question about it. I had him winning by four points. So. Anyway, what did you think of the fight? Did you watch it? What do you think of Edwards? Just give me your opinion. Maybe you totally disagree with me. Maybe you say, oh, no, he's he's one for the purists and, you know, he's got good good skills and everything. I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. But let me know what you think. What do you think of this fight with Alvarado? I don't think many of you are going to say that Alvarado won. I certainly don't think he did. But let me know your opinions. Leave your comments below. Thank you, as always, for watching this video. I really always appreciate your time. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the like button. Jab, jab, jab. Bang. Like button, subscribe. Phew. Only takes a second, doesn't it? Anyway, thank you. We've got more boxing to come this weekend. And um, speak to you soon. Meanwhile, take care of yourselves and bye for now.